All right, so how do we measure humidity? Well, we use something called a hygrometer. Okay. Hygro, water, meter, measurement, right? Hygrometer. So there's a few of these, and um, in the lab, we actually have one called a psychrometer, which is what you see in the picture here. A sling psychrometer, to be exact. Uh, and what you do is you you can see that there's one here. Where is it? There we go. We can see that there's one here that has a high-tech piece of fabric, and there is one thermometer that does not. Okay, so the high-tech piece of fabric makes this one the wet, and the lack of makes this one the dry. Okay, so what you do is exactly this. You put the fabric in the water, so you make this all nice and wet. Now remember, evaporation is a cooling process, right? So once it's nice and wet, you sling it around, just like he's showing here, right? Sling hygrometer. So you just whip it around for a whole minute, which, trust me, sounds a lot easier than it is. And you whip it around for a whole minute, and then you take a reading of the dry bulb and the wet bulb, and the difference will give you the humidity. Now there's a whole bunch of tables that you can look up, which is good because we would hate to actually do that by hand. So you look up on the table and it tells you the humidity. Now, have you ever heard or ever said the expression, it's the humidity when your hair is just bonkers, right? Or have you seen someone's hair and it did not look the prettiest and they're like it's the humidity they're not lying okay before we had the sling hygrometer they actually used blonde hair in this contraption over here to tell the humidity the longer the hair would get the more humid it became so your hair frizzes because of the humidity that's not a lie but of course now we have technology and so we use something like this called an electric hygrometer this one is a chilled mirror hygrometer 